you're with Cyboss TV and a very warm welcome back to you. Now, there is plenty ahead and what we're going to do is to start with a look at software solutions. To put it in context, over the past few years, ABN AMRO rolled out Murex's MX.3 platform globally. Now, the Dutch bank recently migrated all of its MX3 dot usage from on-premises to Microsoft Azure. So, some big leaps happened there, and to review the benefits of this massive transformation, I'm delighted to say that I'm joined by Monique Huben, who is Head of Markets, Strategy and Business Development at ABN AMRO. Rosa Henriquez, who's the IT manager responsible for the IT applications within financial markets at ABN AMRO. And Marun Ade, who's the CEO at Murex. Welcome to all of you. You have been very busy and considering you carried out a great responsibility, you look incredibly relaxed. So congratulations on that. But Marun, let me start first with you. What is it that makes ABN, ABN AMRO's journey so unique in the market today? Is it a big game changer? It is, and good morning first. Just a little bit of context. Uh, since the crisis of 2008, the big credit crisis, all banks have been trying to streamline, to simplify, to rationalize their IT infrastructure, supporting treasury and market. And ABN is ahead on that game because ABN managed to put most of their asset classes on one platform, all the business functions, uh, to move it to cloud, as you alluded to, uh, to create the proper operating uh, model for that, to create the proper resourcing model also. And today they have, I would say, a cost base to run this infrastructure and to evolve it, which is pretty competitive in the marketplace. And that's why I find it very interesting, actually, to take their opinion today. It is really interesting as well, because it was done against a backdrop of incredible turbulence, if you want to go that far back. I mean, it's a memory that we'd like to forget, but it is worth remembering that the, the banking system was brought to its knees by the subprime crisis back then. Everyone Absolutely. was scrambling. Absolutely, and ABN suffered quite a bit from it. Uh, what's very impressive is that uh, despite all of that, they had their target in sight and step after step after step, they managed to do it independently from uh, the difficulties in the marketplace. OK, so an incredible achievement. And Monique, given that, could you remind us what the business drivers were behind it? Because, yes, it was a response to a crisis. But beyond that, there were still some real fundamentals at play here. Yes, we, um, we use Murex in the broadest way possible. So we use it for FX, money markets, uh, fixed income, all, that, over all of our derivatives. And we use it globally. So we use it in Asia, we use it in Brazil, in the US, as well as all of Europe. Uh, but last but not least, I think we use it for the biggest user base possible. So we use it for front office, so traders, salespeople, treasury, but also back office, finance and risk. And within, for example, operations, we uh, use it for all functionality, including uh, initial and variation margin. So, you know, a huge user base, which means that effectively uh, uh, we have a benefit of having one golden source, um, no reconciliations to be made. And because of that, of course, we can be very cost effective. Of course, it does mean that we need to have a good interaction with IT, with operations, with, of course, Murex themselves, because, of course, the processes need to run smoothly. Um, but it is cost effective and very beneficial to have everyone on one, uh, on one platform. Right. So cost effectiveness, a really powerful driver. But it's right. essentially what we're talking about here is an integrated outfit, bringing everything together, because there's always that danger that the back office is somehow marooned <laughs> from the rest of the operation. Correct. Correct. Yeah, so everything on one platform is really uh, ideal, to be honest, because uh, everyone looks at one golden source and one uh, single truth. So, uh, yeah, very good. I mean, look, Rosie, you're the IT brains, OK? Is, is that a fair enough description? <laughs> it's an honourable description, <laughs> yes. And, and, it, and it is given as a compliment. But look, yeah, yeah. the big milestone of this journey was the migration of the Murex platform yeah. to the crowd. Now, when we to the cloud, now when we talk about it like this, it sounds incredibly easy. Anything but, because you're actually moving so many different parts of a business to another platform, another level. Yeah, I mean, uh, t t tell me about this. I mean, clearly it was a successful journey, but I mean, really, the, give me an idea about how, how it was executed. Uh, I, I think it was a success and starting with migration and by the way it was uh, Microsoft Azure, uh, the cloud we moved to. 
So I think the migration in itself, it was a great success. And uh, I need to mention that because it started with the great preparation where we brought all experts together from uh, from UX, from Microsoft, from all disciplines within the bank. And you and managed to get a consensus amongst them. Well, <laughs> there were challenges, of course. There are always challenges, but bringing all that together it was really uh, a success. So it was uh, quite a challenging program, but in any case, it, it went quite smoothly uh, given the circumstances. And uh, now we are there. And uh, I must say, we are very proud to have uh, a very stable system at uh, running at the cloud, which we were not expecting initially. I mean, uh, we were uh, sort of pioneering, so it's always a challenge in the beginning, but uh, it's running stable. Uh, we were able to even improve the performance of our batch uh, running, the end of night running, which uh, was really a, a bonus. And, um, and uh, what I would like to say as well, it was not only the technical journey, but as well at the same time we were uh, moving the teams towards a new way of working, DevOps. Mm. So having change people, working together with run people and uh, working together in a sense that you really are obliged to turn around the time to market for changing and solving problems much uh, easier. It was uh, really a very, very, very big plus for us. Yeah. But the, yeah. the thing which I find really interesting, I'm sure that you'd all like to comment on it, is the fact that it was a huge operation, getting people on board and yeah. upskilling them effectively to take yeah. on this new responsibility. Where yeah. do you start with that? I mean, I'm throwing it open to all of you. <laughs> Well, listen, fundamentally what we worked on, um, and we've had that for a few years uh, with ABN, is the kind of partnership that we have between uh, both our companies. Yeah. This kind of partnership allows us to uh, align on what we want to do very early on, on have the having the same strategic view from the top of the uh, respective companies and to work from the top to the bottom. And this is extremely helpful because we're in a world which is changing quite a bit. There's nothing which is a cookie cutter that you can copy and paste from what you've done elsewhere. Yeah. And you have to respond to a world which is changing quickly also. So this kind of partnership that we have, I think, has been absolutely uh, instrumental yeah. for the journey. Yeah, fully agree. Mm. Fully agree. Uh, Monique, when we're looking into the future, I mean, you're operating from a very strong starting point because you blazed a trail with what others are doing. What are your ambitions for the future? Because you've now migrated to the cloud. The sky's the limit, surely? Yeah. Well, of course, we always look to further rationalize and simplify our landscape. So we're looking at what kind of additional products can we include onto the platform? What kind of other functionality can we uh, maybe uh, bring onto the platform? But also, of course, new things like carbon trading, like, for example, token, uh, tokenized uh, bonds. I think all these the kind of things we're trying to add to the same platform because then at least, you know, we, we're as cost efficient as we can get. OK, thank you all so much for joining us here on Cybos and sharing that unique experience with us. The migration to the cloud. We'll leave it there. Thank you.